All right, guys, so today's episode, I'm going to talk about pretty much how I got into fashion and how I fell in love with fashion. So let's get started. So it literally started as a kid. Like, I was always into fashion. I always was just obsessed with fashion. Um, I mean, I grew up with rat dolls, so, you know, you can only expect me to fall in love with fashion, but... It was just something I genuinely loved so much. I would always draw fashion designs, and I always wanted fashion sketchbooks, and I wanted vid- fashion video games, and um, I would make fashion shows, like, with my dolls. Like, I just always... And it never changed. Like, as a child, I was very consistently, like, a very girly person. Like, I never was like, oh, I want to play with trucks and, like, dinosaurs. Like, I was just always a girly girl. Um... And I always loved fashion. Like, it never... Like, I never stopped. You know what I'm saying? Um, So, you know, even as a kid... Like, I remember in kindergarten. I... It's funny, because my mom does not remember this. Um, I think she's just lying at this point, because she doesn't want to admit it. But um, I remember we had to say, like, what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, For the kindergarten graduation, it was like a song. And I, of course, was like, okay, fashion designer. And I remember the exact memory of me, like, saying that in my living room. And I was, like, standing next to the TV. Um, I don't know why I remember this exact memory, but, like, I do. Like, I have random memories I just remember. But, um, and my mom was like, no. Um, She's like, you can't even dress up as a fashion designer. I was like, yes, you can. I was like, put measuring tape around your neck. Like, bringing clothes and fabric and stuff like that. And she was like, okay, no. So I was like, okay, what about an actress? She was like, no. I was like, okay, what about a rock star, pop star? No. Because that's all I wanted to be. Like, as a kid, it's funny because, like, I only ever wanted to be famous. Like, all the other kids were like, oh, I want to grow up and have, like, a husband and kids and be a doctor. And I'd be like, I want to be famous. <laughs> like, I was always that bitch that was just like, I want to be famous. You know, like, that's all I want. And uh, that has not changed. I'm still the same person I was as a five-year-old. Um, but yeah, so... And we ended up, like, agreeing on, like, a fucking weather girl. Like, I never even wanted to be a weather girl. But my mom, like, was persuading me, like, Oh, well, you're still on TV every day, you know? But I didn't want to be that. <laughs> like, I wanted to be a fashion designer. Um, and obviously now, like, I'd love to be a designer, but I don't want to physically make the clothes so i just want to be in the fashion industry but anyway back to what i was saying um all through elementary school middle school high school like every assignment i did where we could choose like the topic i would always make it about fashion like that was like just the most important thing to me my entire life and i don't know why but it has been um and you know even like I don't know why. Like, I always wanted to be famous. Like, I would make my own videos on my dad's, like, MacBook computer. And, like, I genuinely, like, acted like a YouTuber. Like, I was talking to an audience that wasn't really there. And this was before I even knew YouTube existed. I don't even think it did. I think this might have been, like, the really early 2000s. I don't know when YouTube existed. I want to be honest with you. But I can tell you that vloggers did not exist. Um, So I was, like, the original vlogger. (laughs) But, um, you know, I was just kind of, like, always talking to this audience that I thought was really there. I'm not even kidding. I thought I was famous. Like, I thought as a child that I was famous and, (laughs) like, already. And it was, and you know, that's why I'm, like, how have I not manifested this shit already? Because, like, as a kid, I kind of manifested, like... I pretended I was already that person I wanted to be. I would daydream all day. Like, I'd get in trouble in school. They'd have to call my mom because I'd spend, like, the entire day daydreaming. I've always just, like, dreamt of living that life that I want and being, like, you know, a fashion, you know, icon person and a fucking celebrity. Like, that's all I've ever wanted to be. Um, So, and I haven't changed. Like, I'm still like that. And, you know, I just, like, even, like, through middle school and, like, uh, in high school, like, I never changed. Like, I was just always the same person. And I decided, you know, how am I going to get into the fashion industry? Like, at a young age, like, at 12, 13 years old, I was like, 
I don't think I'm going to be able to afford fashion college, you know, like maybe like, yeah, I'll be in debt, but I cannot physically afford to live there because I'd only want to go to New York. And I want to be honest, I don't know how the fuck I know people my age who live alone in New York. I'm like, where are you getting this money? Like, I maybe I'm just like dirt poor compared to everybody. But like, damn, like I, I, I can't like, you know. Um, and I was like, how am I going to get into the fashion industry without, um, college, without money, without nepotism, without rich parents? Like, how am I going to do this on my own? And that's when the fashion influencer thing kind of like sparked. Um, my biggest influences were Bethany Moda, of course, the queen herself, um, and Joanna Kusha. Um, they were like my main inspirations to kind of start my social media, um and try to become an influencer because i saw bethany moda and she started out on youtube and then she had like her own clothing line at aeropostale and that was my dream i was like i want a clothing line like you know like i was just like i want to be bethany moda so i started my youtube and then i started instagram and i just i i tried like i was honestly i do regret you know starting really young just because like i'm gonna be honest like I, I, you know, I probably have ugly ass photos of me out there, (laughs) but, um, regardless, like I tried so hard for so many years and obviously I'm still here trying and I feel like that's why it discourages me that I'm not more successful because I have been doing this for years. Like, I don't think you guys understand, um, literally all my teen years, I didn't live my life. I've had I had friends here and there, but I never went to parties, never did anything. Like I never had fun really. Um, my life has been nothing but trying to get to where I want, which is in the fashion industry. Um, that's all I've ever aspired to get into, and I'm 20 now. Like I feel old as fuck, and I'm like, how am I not there yet? I see people who started their Instagrams like, oh, I started you know, take Instagram seriously, like, a month ago, and now I have 200,000 followers, and I'm just like, how the fuck, like, this person just did it for fun, I've been doing it to try to get my career for years, like, over six years, and I still can't get anywhere, and I'm gonna be honest, that's why I think I'm cursed, but (laughs) that's a whole different story, um, that's a conspiracy theory I am very interested in, um, because I've been, like, just working my ass off trying to get somewhere, you know, like, This is, like, the only way in. And, you know, a lot of people say that influencers should never be invited to fashion events or get in the industry, but I disagree. But also, I agree in a way, like, influencers who don't care about fashion, which they're the only ones who get in somehow, like, they shouldn't be involved. They shouldn't be invited. I agree solely with that. But influencers who started out because they wanted to get into the fashion industry and that's the only way they can get in um why not you know like not everyone has rich family or famous family to help them get in because most of the celebrities you guys like they got in because of their parents because they have nepotism not everybody has fucking nepotism you know so people like us need to find other ways to get into the industry and that's social media um i do think that a lot of people don't deserve like there are people i see that are really popular in the industry from social media and they i honestly don't think a lot of them deserve it just because they started out for fun and they don't really care that much you know like my entire life has been dedicated to fashion like that's it like that's all i've ever cared about like that's everything to me like my entire soul is fashion um that's all i ever talk about that's all i ever care like you know it's just it's just huge you know it's just everything to me it's my entire life and um you know, I mean, a lot of people think I have a lot of followers, which I'm not saying I don't, but with all of the years I've been on social media, I feel like, how do I not have more? I don't get a lot of PR. I don't get invited to fashion events. And I see so many people I know get invited to celebrity events. And apparently on TikTok, they say the secret is to be pretty. So I'm like, I must be fucking ugly or something like, cause I've never been invited to a celebrity event. Um, which fucking sucks, but whatever. Um, And I see these people live this life and I'm just like, when will that be me? Like, you know, like I, um, I have been working so many years to try to get to these people's point. 
And I'm scared that it'll never happen. Like, that's my... I, I fear that every day of my life. It haunts me. Um, because I just want to make everyone proud. Because I have people who have been following me since I started. And those people I really do appreciate. Like, you know, my followers are, like, my biggest support system. And I would not have gone through high school without my followers. I would have just dropped dead. Um, honestly, like, social media has helped me. More than anything, like people say it's a toxic, terrible thing, but social media is not that bad, you know, like obviously it has bad aspects to it, but it's helped me get through life. Um, And, you know, I just feel like it really is just so difficult to make it on there. Like I, again, like it's just infuriating sometimes when I see people like on TikTok, like I took my Instagram seriously for once and now I have 300,000 followers. Like how the fuck? Like I've been taking my Instagram seriously since I was 12. Like, and I'm a 20 year old woman now. Like, you know, like it just, it gets to you. And um, it really is annoying in a way. Cause it's like, I've been taking it seriously for years. Like where's my like fucking like, recognition you know like I I'm just scared I'll never get that and it terrifies me because it's all I dream of it's all I've ever dreamt of my entire life um and I I I seriously have tried everything like and all my time I spend um working on my social media because I'm just like I need to get to this place and followers, like, the only way to, like, get into the industry is having a lot of followers. I, I can't get to that. Like, I have not gained followers in years. I don't think you guys understand. Um, I don't know why. I lost over 10,000 followers um, because I stopped doing the Y2K style and I never gained them back. And it sucks. It Like, I lose them every time I post. I don't know what is happening. Like... I don't know how people gain. I saw this one girl go from 40K to 100K in the matter of a fucking week. I'm like, how? Like, what am I doing wrong? You know, like, and it starts to get to your head because you're trying so hard. You're like doing everything you're fucking like, fa- like everything, everything you can possibly do to try to get to this point. And it's just like not working. Um, and all I want is to just be successful and make my parents proud for once. I just, I don't know how that feels. I don't know how it feels to make people proud. And that's all I want, you know? Um, I don't want to be a failure. Um, and I just feel like I'm getting old. Um, but anyway, um, so yeah, so it really is difficult. And I see so many influencers like get really popular and like, Honestly, like, they've never focused on fashion. Like, their content has never circled around fashion, yet people call them fashion icons. It's it's just, it's just such a warped world. I don't know what's happening, man. Like, I don't fucking know. Um, it's just so strange. And what's funny is, in high school, I was always made fun of for wanting to be an influencer. Like, people thought it was weird. They were like, you know, I always got made fun of for it. And now... Like, I see sometimes people from my high school on my Explore page, and they're all trying to become influencers. I'm like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Like, I got made fun of for this, and now it's a trend. And, like, now everyone's doing it. Um, I mean, even with the Y2K, like I said, I got made fun of for years for doing that, like, 2000 style, and now everyone's doing it right when I stopped, you know? It's, like, weird. It's, like, every time I do something or wear something, I get made fun of for it. I stopped doing it, and then now everyone's doing it. Well, the influencer stuff, I haven't stopped, obviously, but, you know, it's just weird to me. I don't know why, but whatever. And, you know, I do think that I influence people in a way. Like, I'm not saying this to be, like, you know, um, a narcissist or whatever, but I have a lot of people come to me saying that I influence their style and... They bought things because of me. Like, I have people say this stuff to me. And I even notice, like, when I wear something, that the people I follow, like, some of them start wearing the thing that I was wearing. And I'm not saying that to be, again, or I'm just saying, like, I feel like I have an effect somewhat on people. And it's like, how have I not gotten farther with this, you know? Like, if I've helped people find their style, and if I've inspired people to wear certain things, like why do I just, 
why am I getting nowhere? You know, obviously, like, I do have an effect on people. Um, I mean, I have people come up to me still now, and they're like, oh, I bought this thing because I saw you wear it. And I was just, I, I'm now obsessed with it. You know, like, I have people say that to me. And it's like, okay, how am I not a big influencer? It's just weird. You know, like, I, again, like, like, everyone in my family thinks I'm insane when I say I'm cursed. But I really genuinely think, like, someone from my past hated me so much they put this like weird curse on me and that's why i'm not getting anywhere and if anyone knows the reverse of curse man let me know (laughs) because i don't know how the fuck like i'm still i just feel like i'm in i'm i'm trapped like i don't know how to explain it but i feel like i'm trapped in a box and i cannot get out without a key and i don't have the fucking key like i'm stuck in a box um that's the best way I can explain how I feel and I've felt for the past few years like I feel trapped um I feel like someone is stopping good things from happening to me in a way um because that's all I want like I I just want something good to happen to me you know um I, I see so many people living my dream life that I follow and and they go to New York Fashion Week they go to events they get all this PR, like, I, they do all this stuff, I'm like, how are they doing it and not me, like, I'm trying my best, I mean, and that's why I always try to step up more and more, because I want to be honest, I'm very mean to myself, um, like, if I, like, I, I just, you know, I'm like, you need to try harder, you're a fucking failure, like, you need to do better than this, like, I'm like an evil stepmother to myself, <laughs> Like, if that makes any fucking sense, like, I, I just feel like, you know, obviously it's not good to be mean to yourself, but it's just, that's how I am to me because I, I just feel like I need to be successful. I need to, because I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to be happy until I'm living that life that I dream of. Therapy is not going to help me, you know, like people say, oh, for your depression and stuff like that, take meds, go to therapy. That's not going to help me. Like, I'm still going to be in the same situation until my situation changes and I'm finally living the fucking life that I've been working on since I was like a 12 year old. That's when I'll be happy. That's when I'll smile. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, It's just like I've been working on this for years. Um, I've changed my style a million times. I've just kind of grown on social media and I don't know what to do because this is my only way into the industry. I don't have money for fashion school and to live in New York, like all these other people going to FIT and the other schools or whatever. Like I can't just get up and leave. You know, a lot of people say, Oh, just go and move to New York. I will end up on the street (laughs) unless you want me living in a box. Um, I can't do that. You know, like I can't just get up and leave. It's not like I have like you know, a best friend living in New York who's like, hey, just stay with me. Like, I have friends there, but they've never offered to have me, like, live with them and be roommates, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ask them, like, that's just stupid. Um, You know, if I had someone, like, a friend in New York who needs a roommate, um, again, that would be very hard to pay for, but at least that's, like, a step up. But, um, you know... I'm like, how am I going to do this? I don't have rich parents. I don't have nepotism. Like, there is not a famous person in my family. Like, if I became famous right now and you looked at my Wikipedia page, there would be nobody in that blue font to click on. Like, there's nobody famous in my family at all. And do you know how hard it is to get into the industry without a famous relative or, like, a good connection? Like, and I feel like another thing is connections. Um, I don't have those. You know, like, I don't have any fucking connections. Um, And all I get is DMs from, like, weird, like, just old men that I really can't trust saying, like, oh, I can help you get to New York. I can help. I'm sorry, but I just don't trust people that much. I don't trust men. Um, And I was saying that to be mean. I'm saying that because most men, they're not just going to help you for nothing. They're going to be like, okay, what's in it for me? Like, you're going to do this for me? Like, I don't want that. I don't want to become a prostitute. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to become a prostitute to get to my dream life. I'm not, I mean, I'm not that desperate for it. Um, I just don't want that. And a lot of guys, like, that's the, you know, I don't, I don't trust the men who DM me that stuff. And even if they're, like, legit, like, 
I'm still scared, you know? I just don't trust leaving the state and meeting up with a strange man I've never met in my life who's going to supposedly help me. Um, And I feel like if you don't understand that, like, you know, I mean, I'm a young girl and I'm not just going to trust some random guy telling me they're going to help me. You know what I mean? Like, they, they get so offended when you say that, like, or even when you don't respond, but it's like, how am I supposed to trust you? And again... Like, guys aren't just going to give you these things without something in it for them. And I am not going to give them any services for, you know, like, I'm not going to do that. So they're coming to the wrong person for that. Um, I just feel like, you know, there's always something in it for them and I'm not going to do that. So how do you get connections? Like, how, you know, and it's like, I'm not going to get any fucking connections in Rhode Island. Like, I live in the worst state. There is no fashion here at all. Um, And that's why I definitely want to visit New York this fall. Again, like, I'm saving up to try to, like, afford to even travel. Like, even just visiting for a fucking day, um, I'm trying to save up for. Um, Because that's where it all is. And it's just, like, I can't imagine my life. Um, where I'm not in the industry. I refuse to, oh, oops. I refuse to ever live a life where I am not living my dream. And as ridiculous as that sounds, I just don't believe in living a life where you're not doing what you love, you know? Um, I just don't want a life where I have kids and a husband and I'm living in a suburban house and working like a normal job. Like that's my biggest fear. Because I've worked my all my teen years trying to get to live my dream life. Like, I don't want to fail. And I don't want to have to live a boring, like, normal life. Um, I, I know that's a, a dream life for a lot of people, but that's not my dream life. I want bigger things. I want more. Like, give me more. Like, give me, give me more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, um, I was just not made for this. And... I always, like, I just felt like, you know, it's hard for me to connect with people. And when I hear, like, the struggles that a lot of, like, big influencers and celebrities go through, like I said in my last podcast, um, I relate more to their problems than normal people. Pro- it's just weird, you know? It's like, I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like I am trapped in a normal person's body, like... I feel like my soul is somewhere else, if that makes any sense. Like, I don't... Okay, I'm going to sound really insane. (laughs) Please do not think I'm insane. But I, like, I just have, like, weird, like, memories of, like, me being places that I never was. Like, I don't know why. I feel like I was at Coachella in, like, 2018 with, like, Madison Beer and all her, like, model friends. I don't know why. I felt like I was there, but I wasn't. Like, I feel like my soul is not in my body. And, like, my soul is living my dream life. And, like, I'm just trapped here. Um, I don't know. Like, maybe some one human being can relate to that. But I just don't feel like I am here. I feel like I am trapped and I need to get out of this box. I need to live the life that I deserve to live and I have been working on. Like, I have not lived my life at all. I ha- I, like, if you ask me, like, the last time I had fun, I cannot fucking remember a memory where I had fun. Because um, my entire teenage years have been nothing but work towards your goals. Like, there's no time for parties. There's no time for fun. There's no time for looking for friends. All you have time for is living, like, trying to live your dream life. And I obviously don't regret that because um, I feel like working towards your goals is important. But also, you know the song Teen Idol <laughs> from Marina? Um, I, other than the alcoholism part, I relate so deeply to that song because my teenage years were wasted with depression and loneliness and just being miserable. Um, And now I'm 20 and I'm just like, I hope my 20s are better. Like, I just feel like I'm scared. Like, I'm scared that I'm going to be trapped forever. And I don't want to be trapped. Like, I want to live the life that I want. Um... I don't want to be trapped anymore. I feel like I'm trapped. And, um, yeah. So, you know, and 
if I'm not doing something that involves fashion, I will not be happy. Like, fashion is my soul. Like, as ridiculous as I sound, like, everything. Like, fashion means absolutely everything to me. Um, it is what makes me happiest. Like, when I go thrifting and I put outfits together for Instagram, like, all these things, like, bring me happiness. Like, that's my escape from the reality of life. Um, I just, you know, fashion is just so important to me. Like, so important to me. And, um, I see so many people who don't even fucking care about fashion. Like, get into the industry just because they got lucky. And they're like, oh, well, you know, why not? Like, it's fun. Like, no. Like, it's just, I don't know how to explain it. But, um, you know... I feel like influencers who just now started caring about fashion, um, people call fashion icons and like, oh, they deserve to be at the Met Gala. No, they don't. I'm sorry. They did not care about fashion until now. Their content has never circled around fashion. So they don't deserve to be at the Met Gala if they just now are starting to care about fashion. And I'm not saying that's bad to only care now. I'm just saying, like, they don't deserve to be there if they've never cared before. Um, You know, and it's just annoying to me because I I feel like there's a lot of people like me who their entire life is fashion. Like, they just love it and they want it so bad and they can't make it. Um... And it's always the people who don't care that much about fashion who get in. I don't know why the world works like that, but um, I just I just feel like there's so many people like me who deserve it, and um, I don't know. But again, like social media is my only way. Like people hate influencers, but I don't care. I want to be a fashion influencer because you can get the connections to get into the industry and also you get sent clothes where you can style them and like I feel like that was always so cool to me because again like it was always hard for me to afford my own clothes and now I thrift and I'm not I mean I don't really find like the greatest things thrifting I do find some cool things but um when I get PR it's just so fun I get to style these clothes I didn't have to pay for them and You know, I can still dress up cute without being rich, you know. Um, Obviously, I don't get a lot of PR right now, I feel like. I don't know how people get it anymore because I feel like brands have completely forgotten about me. Uh, Other than my girl, Tiger Mist, I love her. Um, (laughs) But, you know, I just feel like people hate on influencers, which I get that in a way. But the fashion influencers, I have full respect for. Because a lot of us started out on social media because we don't have famous parents. Like, most of the people you guys, like, are obsessed with, um, they came from nepotism. They came from rich parents. They came from money. And that's why they're celebrities, like, you know. Um, so I do think that fashion influencers deserve to get in fa- and invited to New York Fashion Week and, and, and events like that. But I do agree that normal influencers like fucking tiktokers that have nothing to do with fashion at all they don't deserve to get invited they do not fucking deserve to get invited at all in any way shape or form and what sucks is it's always those tiktokers that get invited instead of people who have dreamt of fashion their entire life um so yeah that's (laughs) You know, and it's just always, like I said, to sum it up, it's always been important to me. I don't know why, but I've always had a passion for fashion. Of course, the brats would say that. Um, And I honestly still get inspiration from brats with my style. Like, my last outfit was inspired by the brats. Um, And I feel like they don't have stuff like that anymore for girls. Like, they don't have brats dolls anymore anymore. They, you know, it's sad. I don't know. I, I, I'm I, so grateful I grew up with those things. And, um, you know, all my DS games were fashion-based. My Wii games, my fucking PlayStation games. Like, everything was fashion, and I'm still obsessed. I will never, ever not love fashion. It will always be my soul. So, yeah, that, that was this episode. Um... I'm going to stop now before I burst into tears because if you couldn't hear, I'm like about to cry. So um, thanks for watching. I mean, not watching, but listening. <laughs> um, but again, I just want to say that the people, I mean, even the people who just followed me, but there's been people who have been following me for so long 
and like watch me grow up it's crazy it's so insane to me um like people like i haven't even had friends longer uh, that long in my life than people have been following me um and seriously you guys have helped me through so much um and i'm so grateful for you guys like i love you so much um you helped me through high school you helped me through life and social media is like my escape like instagram is my escape from reality i feel like um and that's why i don't hate social media i don't hate it a lot of people hate it and think it's like toxic but um i don't hate social media it has helped me so much get through life so yeah um Thanks for listening. That was this episode. Goodbye.